Hello my darlings, and hello YouTube. It's ALB in Whisperland here. I'm working on today showing you my office slash studio space. This is a video that we talked about doing many, many months ago, and you've all been so wonderful and patient with me, and you know, I just appreciate that so much. I knew if I wanted to make this video, I wanted to make it the very best that I could, which meant I wanted to film the film in the daytime um, because I wanted to kind of capture the actual vibe of this room when I'm in here working and, you know, I'm here in the day. I'm here every day. So, uh, due to the fact that I'm filming during the daytime, the sound in this video may not be perfect, you know. Um, I often pride myself and I have a little bit of, uh, you know, I, I work really hard to make the sound in my videos as good as I can possibly make it. So normally I film um, between 1.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. just so that I can get that really good quiet sound. You know, I live in Toronto, it's one of the biggest cities in my country, and Part of what comes with that is that the daily rigmarole of the many, many people who live in my city mean there's a lot of really loud noises that happen during the daytime where I live, you know, and uh, I, it just is what it is. <laughs> so the sound in this may not be perfect, but better uh, finish than perfect, as we say, right? Yes. All right, so I'm going to give you a little tour of my office today. And uh, this is uh, a shared office space, it's not just me in here, but I'm going to give you a tour of the whole room. What you can see right behind me is my space. Uh, it's my desk, it's my shelf, this is my own little nook in this room. Uh, also, my wonderful little baby bat, Dawn, is in here. She's in her bed right now, and I can hear her kind of rustling around in there, so she might be coming in and out of some shots. I don't know. She's a cat. She's gonna do what she wants, right? So let me kind of uh, take you in a little bit closer, and I'll show you some of the goodies that are on my desk. I, uh, I don't have um, a sort of overall style that I'm going for with my decorating. I'm just one of those people who I just put stuff I like together, if it looks good, great. Uh, if it doesn't, I don't care because it's all stuff I like. And I mean, obviously, it goes without saying. It's a very, it's a very pink room. Uh, I love the color pink. I always have, as long as I can remember. Maybe not when I was a little girl. I actually was a total tomboy when I was a little girl. But um, th the color pink really makes me happy. So what I've tried to do so far in my life is whatever workspace I'm in, I try to add as much pink as I can. And I feel very creative in a color like this. I feel happy. I genuinely feel happy when I'm in the color pink. But uh, every, everything pink is nice. But of course, little touches of other colors are good too. Uh, I really like mint, obviously, and yellow and lavender. So you're gonna see a lot of that today. And I also have a lot of art around in the office, and I'm gonna do my best to tell you about that too. So let's take a little bit of a deep dive into my desk here. Right now, I have a lovely bouquet of flowers. I don't always have um, real plants or flowers in here. I just happened to receive a lovely bouquet this week um, with some roses and stuff like that. I think I was like half off at the grocery store. I love getting half off flowers. Sometimes they're like kind of on their way out, but you know, if you can get them for like five bucks or something, ooh, that's the good stuff. Because then you get to enjoy them on their last legs before they have to rejoin the earth. And I do not have a vase right now at all. So this is just a um, pitcher that I got at Winners. And I really liked how it looked. It kind of had like an anthropology feel to it. And now whenever we have bouquets, I've been putting flowers in there. And I just love that like yellowy pop, right? This is uh, a 
lamp that I have repurposed. Um, the shade was from Ikea. It was like seven dollars or something. And then the actual lamp itself, um, was that from Winners? Yeah, I got that in Winners in like the kids section. I just popped the lampshade off of it because it was like, I don't know, it was like for, for a children's room or something like that. Pop the white shade on, and now I have a white lamp. <laughs> and behind that, this right here, I love this. I'm going to show you a little close-up detail of this. This is um, really, really cool artwork. It's actually a vintage advertisement from a 1957 or 58. Don't quote me on that. I mean, you can, but it might be wrong. It's from a late 50s or early 60s Life magazine. Life magazines used to be quite big. They weren't the size of uh, what we know magazines to be now. They were like bigger, like a newspaper. And this wonderful um, vintage seller, oh, Dawn just made a really cute little sigh. This wonderful vintage seller from Hamilton, Ontario, uh, their name on Instagram is Unvaulted Vintage. They sell all kinds of vintage advertisements, and I got to meet them when I went to um, the Toronto Vintage, uh, it was like a yearly fair that they do, and they had this booth, and they had all kinds of vintage advertisements, so here's what I did, right? I bought this frame at Ikea, and I bought three different advertisements to fit inside the frame. This one right here is for Scripto pens, and I just loved the colors. I fell in love with it. But I also bought a Halloween advertisement, and I also bought a Christmas advertisement. My plan is I'm going to switch out the artwork as the seasons change, because you know I love the holidays. I love to decorate, so I wanted to introduce something like that into my workspace. So that's what that artwork is. I love it because it's kind of like, it's kind of office-y. I mean, it's an advertisement for pens, right? But uh, it's also really me. I love the colors. And lately I've been trying to find some new artwork for in here. That just seemed too perfect, right? Yeah. I have a couple of jars on my desk that are of ivy clippings, actually. I'm trying to grow out some ivy for... Uh, like to make actual ivy plants. So I just have like some clippings that I'm growing right now and I think they're really pretty. These were just incidentally here. Um, they're not decoration. I've just been trying to grow some ivy clippings, so they're not that cute. I just have them in old juice bottles. I like to recycle whenever I can. And these were bottles from the juice that I buy from a local juice place called Black River. They make really, really good mango apple juice and pear nectar, which I love so much. And uh, I just recycle all the bottles. I save all the bottles. I think I get that from my parents. My mom used to like rinse out Ziploc bags and reuse them. And uh, I'm one of those people now too, where I'm always trying to think of ways to reuse. I guess it's garbage, but if I, if you can reuse it and make it cute, that's what I think you should do if you have the opportunity. So, you know, it just adds a little bit of green to my desk, which I like. I also, uh, I love this thing. This is like one of the coolest things that I own, I think. This is, um, from Pottery Barn Teen, and everybody always comments on this. I wasn't clever enough to come up with the idea to put pens in this. Um, it, it was like that in the pictures online. And a lovely friend, Chris, got that for me, and I, I keep my pens all in there. But it's kind of like the um, vintage diner drinking straw idea. And please steal the idea and put your pens in a straw display. It looks cool, right? And I love it because it has these little bunny ears. I like that. <laughs> this is where I keep my um, eyeglasses. <laughs> It's a vintage candy tray that I got in Nova Scotia, actually. It was like $5 or something. It's tin, which I think is really cool. And I just keep all my eyeglasses here. I have quite a few pairs of eyeglasses. I really love 
um, having different glasses for different outfits. I think if you wear glasses, you know what I mean? Like, it's easy to, if you buy them every two years, to slowly build up a collection as long as your prescription doesn't change too much. But, um, yeah, I keep them all in there. Otherwise, I just start leaving eyeglasses in random places all around the whole apartment. There's just eyeglasses littered everywhere. I don't know why I do that. Put that back. And then, of course, um, I also have my framed photo of Michael Burnham on my desk from Star Trek Discovery. This is a beautiful piece of artwork by Amy Spaulding Designs. You can find her on Instagram. I love her art, and she's a friend of mine, and I love this Michael Burnham. She's so gorgeous. The actress who plays Michael Burnham is uh, Sinequa Martin-Green, and I just think she's so, so talented. Michael is one of my favorite characters for a lot of reasons. She's very determined. She is someone who people underestimate a lot. She's had to prove herself a lot, and she's like so headstrong. Like, she will follow what she thinks is the right thing to do, even if it's uh, what everyone tells her not to do, including the law. But, you know, <laughs> I love her as a character. She's so fun to watch. And, uh, yeah, I have a framed photo of her on my desk. Do it for her. <laughs> That's what I say. Just come around to this side so you can see a little bit better. I also have my computer, which is what I edit all my videos on. This is an iMac from, gosh, when did I get this computer? At least five years ago. Let's say 2015? I don't know. Um, and I have my lovely uh, keyboard, which has wonderful clickety-clack sounds. I have this one out right now, but you know what? Um, I switch my keyboard out all the time. I have like five different keyboards now because... I use them for videos, and I'm a big keyboard aficionado. That happened purely by accident. Like, I was not a keyboard collector. I mean, I don't really think of myself as a keyboard collector now, but like, it's not like I was into keyboards before I started making ASMR videos with them, but like, now I'm so into keyboards. So, that's the, the keyboard that I use all the time. And, um, I have my little can you see that? My little pencil case. My little Jim Bason pencil case. And up here, I have a shelf above my desk. And I'll take you in and show you all my little goodies up in there. Oh, one more thing I also want to show you is uh, my day planner that I always keep on my desk because I need to be organized. Covered in stickers. We've got some Zambi candy stickers on here. Sailor Moon stickers. I really didn't like the design on this at all. I, I don't like things with words on them. It's like my weird pet peeve. Like, I don't like plates with words on them, anything. And this said 2020, a year of adventure, and I just wasn't for me. Had all kinds of stuff, designs that I didn't like. So I just covered it in stickers because it was a really good price and I just wanted to buy it. And I was like, eh, I'll just make it my own when I get home. So that's what I did. It's kind of funny too because like I can't super reach this shelf when I want to get something that's on the shelf. I usually have to stand on the chair. I don't recommend standing on your chair, <laughs> but I have to do it sometimes. So I have had to climb up onto a little stool I brought in to be able to actually show you the things I'm talking about because I'm five foot two. And this shelf is a little bit too high for me to point to. Anyway, so I'm on a stool right now. I'm not suddenly very tall. On my shelf, I mean, this is mainly a shelf for art supplies. That's how I think of it. Um, right here we have a Keeper doll. It's a swan. This is like a 1980s toy. I love Keepers. I think they're so cute. And I had this one when I was really young. Um, I think I got it at a thrift store when I was, like, 14 or something, and as she's held up to the passage of time, I just love her so much. 
Then down here we have a little unicorn. This was a gift from a friend. And back here, this is a, a box from Ladre. The uh, tea is in like a patisserie, I guess. They sell like macaron cookies. And I love to go have tea there um, in Toronto. It's like my treat. It's very special for me to be able to go to Ladre. I think I do it like twice a year. And that's a little box that I got a bunch of macaron in. And I kept the box because the box is so cute. And you know, I've got pens and rulers and sharpies and all kinds of stuff up here. Pencil sharpener, very important. Yet another unicorn statue. This one was another gift from a friend, different friend this time. But don't they look so good together? Like, they kind of look like they match, even though they were given to me like six years apart by two different people. I love them. Then I have this vintage Mary Poppins lunchbox. I think this is from 1953. I might be wrong about that, but it's in that age range. Uh, it's, old, it's very old, you know, like it's got some rust on it. It's got some wear. Uh, it was used. It was really used. I'm assuming by a child or whomever. And I love, I love it. I love the art on it. I love that it's well used and loved and worn. I found this um, this year and I like cleaned it up and gave it a new life and I love it so, so, so much. It's like one of my favorite things on my shelf. Then I also have this uh, vintage lady from Lady and the Tramp. When is this from? I'm not sure exactly, actually. This, uh, all the information that's on the bottom is at Disney Japan. But I'm sure I could go look it up after this video. <laughs> after I'm done filming and figure out. But she's quite old, too. I'm just not sure the exact date on her. And then, you know, more paint brushes over here. Most of the tins that you see that are holding brushes or things like that are just old um, David's tea tea containers. I like to recycle them, and you know what? They make really cute tins. And I not only use the tins here for storing pens and things like that, I also have a bunch in my cupboards that I put. You know, everybody's got like tons of cables. I don't know about you, but I have tons of cables. They're everywhere. There's no good way to store them except for like in little boxes. But I wind them up and I stuff them in these containers and it works great. And you know what? They're cute colors, so I like to reuse those. So that is my shelf. Now we're going to come around all the way to the other side of the office. This is my office chair. Um, it's like kind of a white pleather. I wanted everything to be kind of matchy-matchy in here. So this office chair is mine. And behind me, you can see my wife's office chair. We have the same chair because we like everything to be matchy-matchy. We're those people. <laughs> so this is my side of the office. And now I'm going to take you to that side so you can see her side of the office. Um, we basically... Uh, sit with our backs facing each other when we're working throughout the day Just so we kind of have like our own little workspace, you know But we're like two feet apart because it's not that big of a room in here And then when I'm shooting it's late at night and it's just me in here and the room gets completely taken over by lights and backdrops and You know every everything you need microphones to create ASMR videos, but then that all gets taken down so that she can come in and do her work during the day, and then I can come in and sit down at my desk and edit videos, you know. Uh, we're on different sleep schedules, but it works, you know. So she's giving me permission to show you her side of the desk and her side of the office, so I'll show you that now. And now we find ourselves here on the opposite wall, across from my desk here. This is my wife's area. Now, my desk, obviously I cleaned it off for this video. I'm one of those people who definitely has five or six projects at all time, just spread out all over the desk. 
However, my wife's desk is always clean, always perfect and beautiful. It's what I strive for, but look, I'm not gonna get there. <laughs> um, different types of brains. She's very type A, and her desk always looks great. And a very different style from mine, as you can probably see. Her art is much more bold, colorful, uh, she has a, uses a different type of computer than me, and it works great for her. So let me tell you a little bit. Um, this piece right here, this is by Sam McKenzie. They're a really, really great artist. This is a um, Prince Purple Rain piece. I love this. This is a limited edition print, uh, number 18 out of 70, so that's a really cool one. And then over here, I mean, we've got Majora's Mask right up here, and this was also a handmade piece made by a really dear friend of ours named Tina. Um, they go by uh, Turn On Red, I think it's Turn On Red, that's their at. They do tons of great enamel pins. I mean, what, what can't Tina make? Fabulous cosplays, everything. Amazing, amazing artist. And so that's a really, really neat one. Um, if you are a Legend of Zelda fan, you'll know, like, how cool this is. And, you know, I was never super into Legend of Zelda, like, a little bit as a kid, but, like, I just think this is, like, the coolest thing. It is a little bit spooky, but because we're in here all the time, like, it's, it's totally fine. It's so, I'm so used to seeing everything in here that... It's, it doesn't freak me out at all. <laughs> but I've definitely, like, seen comments from people um, before when I've featured, because sometimes I do film on this side of the office, not very often, um, but sometimes, and there will be comments like, ah, <laughs> you know, if this is in the shot. But, uh, yeah, I'm very used to it. Then back here, we've got a couple pieces up at the top right there that is actually a record. Uh, like an actual playable music record from Creamy Mammy, the anime. I don't know if it's the OST or not, but it's a really cool looking piece. And then underneath that, we have two pieces here, both by Zambi. Zambi's a fantastic artist. Now the one farthest in the corner there, that is um, a digital piece that she did of Lum and uh, my wife is a huge fan of Lum, so there's like lots of little Lums on her side of the desk. And then next to it is a piece um, that's an actual watercolor painting commission from Zambi. And that Zambi piece is from uh, Fantasy Star Online, actually. And it was my wife's character that she played in, so she commissioned Zambi to make that piece. And it's really cute looking. And then there's also like lots of little amiibos here, some from Earthbound and Mother 3. This is all, you know, very much what my wife is into, and she has lots of really special little treasures here. I'm gonna take you guys over right next to her desk. There is like a tower, and I like to lovingly refer to this as the video game tower because it's got amiibos, it's got consoles, and it's uh, really cute. It's got a glass door on it because there's lots of little figures in it. And I hate to dust little figures. I don't want to do it. I hate dusting little figures and things like that. Like, obviously I will do it, but do I want to do it? Absolutely not. I cannot be bothered to dust little figures. So that's got a glass door on it so that I don't have to do that. All right, let me take you over there. Oh, and also, right at the top there, there is a huge slime from Dragon Quest. Now, when she ordered that online, we thought it was going to be much smaller than it was. And uh, when it arrived, it got here in a huge box. And we were just like, okay, I guess we own a huge slime from Dragon Quest now. And it's like solid. It's not squishy. So you can't really hug it, but I have to admit, it has a very cute face, so I don't mind. <laughs> now, if you are a subscriber to my channel, you've seen me film in this nook before, right? You know, I try to use up, like, literally every little corner of this room. I don't want my videos to get too repetitive or seem like 
oh, you know, we've seen her in that spot just in the most recent video, so I try to, like, really use all the little different spaces around in this room, because in this room is where the best sound is for me. You know, I've done videos where I've filmed, you know, in my bedroom, or in the living room, too. I know I did the, like, one with our bookshelves out there, but, uh, this room is the best room for me, sound-wise, so, yeah, you've definitely seen me film in this little nook. This right here is what I call the video game tower. There's tons of statues up there. The top there, that's our Sailor Moon collection. Uh, the wands at the back are mine, and Sailor Venus is mine. And then the other ones are my wife's. And then the rest of this tower is all pretty much hers. Um, we've got a PlayStation 3. Gosh, I don't even know what else is in here. My Nintendo Switch is in here. Uh, and we've got Isabel and all the Splatoon girls. I love Splatoon. I'm a huge, huge fan, especially Splatoon 2. I, uh, I use the roller brush. I'm really, really into it. Um, and then what else? We've got some Zelda stuff down here. We've got some Kirby. Really just all video game characters and Gundams, obviously, that are special to us. And it's nice to have a little, you know, section that's kind of like, well, I mean, like I mentioned, I love that there's glass because I don't want to clean figures. I don't know why I keep complaining about this, but like, in the day-to-day -day rigmarole of, you know, keeping everything neat and tidy, I think that's what's been keeping me personally from collecting figures like this. It's like, I don't want to clean them. I just can't be bothered. But that's that tower, and then we've got the little slime guy up there. Now, this is um, a cupboard that I think we got in like Canadian Tire. There's two of them in this room. I painted these sections pink, the exact same pink of the wall, because I wanted them to match, you know? And these are really like not that expensive, and once you paint them pink, they kind of look nice, right? I think eventually I'll probably replace the little, um, knobs here with, like, I would prefer brass. I like that better. But, like, I'm not in a rush to do that, you know? Maybe when I eventually would move to a different place. Uh, but they totally suit for this room right now. I will show you. This is entirely mine, okay? Everything in here is art supplies or video supplies. And fans of the neat and tidy might not love these. Everything in this room, I like to keep things tucked away if they can't be organized perfectly, you know? Because then I just, if I don't have to see the mess, it's a little bit out of sight, out of mind. Um, but there's things that you just can't organize, like just due to the nature of them. And you need to keep them, and like, I think about quartz, other things like that, where it's just like, you need them, but what are you supposed to do with them? It all goes in there. I'll show you this. So this just opens up like this. As you can see, uh, it's jam-packed full of stuff. I've got tons of art supplies in here. Microphone, the other one met matches this. Um, lights, my first camera, which I still have just in case of emergencies. I've got like lists that I hang up on the inside of here. Markers, clay, pencil crayons, um, calligraphy, more cords in here. This is a box of gouache paint, ink. There's just stuff like this that's like, you know, um, a water tray for paint. And it's like, how do you store it? I don't know. I do my best, but... And then, this is a can of compressed air. Cool. Um, this is all mini canvases up here. I've got a Wacom bamboo tablet up there. More ink in here. I mean, it's, look, it's not perfect. And I don't feel embarrassed to show you that there's parts of my life that are a complete mess. But... Uh, it works as good enough as it can. 
The one complaint I have about this apartment is that there is very little storage space. We have almost no closet space at all. So I've had to, you know, make space for myself with things like this. And this drawer pulls out and this is just all stationary supplies. I've got a whole bunch of stickers in here, little memo pads, tape, stapler, like, this is just a whole drawer of stationary stuff. And then down here I'll show you, I think this is actually a little bit more organized. I'm having to just like kneel down to do this because this is like on the ground. Uh, let's see. In here, I mean, this is a little bit more organized, I think. Everything's in boxes, at least. Um, and labeled. Good for me. Look at that. It turns out I can be organized sometimes. This box is lino cut supplies, ornaments. Sometimes I make Christmas ornaments or wooden things. Little tiny, anything little that I can paint goes in here. This box is all washi tape. Box of rhinestones. I you know, we all find ourselves needing tape and adhesives like glue. This is glitter and string. Finished artwork, work in progress artwork. And then down here, this is all paint down here. And that includes um, little bottles of acrylic paint. Um, what is this? High gloss varnish. And then, you know, I've also got fabric paint. This is like screen printing ink. So, yeah, this is all art supplies, pencil crayons, you name it. It's all in here. That's about as organized as it gets. And also, um, I don't know if you can tell, I really like to reuse things. So, a lot of these boxes, I mean, it seems like they're little cute boxes, but a lot of them were, um things I, like, bought other things in, like, this pink box was a pair of Betsy Johnson shoes that I had, and I was like, well, that's a really good sized box, so let me just slap a label on there, and it's cute, right? Anything, anything cute, like, you can just reuse it, and it's really great for storage, so that's this. So this is the back corner of the office, near the door. This door goes into the hallway, right down here, Dawn is in her bed, sleeping, very cute. I don't know why, May May never sleeps in this bed. I think at some point, Dawn, what are you doing? At some point, I think she heard me saying her name and she started to move. At some point, Dawn claimed it and May May does not sleep there now. I don't know why. Cat politics. I don't know. But uh, anyway, this is the other cabinet that I mentioned. And over here, we've got the door. Now, what you can't see tucked behind the door is actually my, um, what you call it? A drafting table. That's what it is. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word drafting table, but there you go. So yeah, I have my drafting table actually tucked behind the door. And then the door is, you know, open and you can't see it. It's all about finding little spots to place things for storage. That's what it's like to have a little apartment. So this cabinet uh, is not art supply or video supply related. This cabinet right here is pretty much all beauty supplies and accessories. Um, I was about to say like, isn't it wild to have enough to fill a whole cabinet, but you know what? It's pretty easy to do that, actually, so I'm gonna open it up and show you. There's also, um, I have, like, a whole bunch of stuffed animals on the top here. Just little cute little guys. A lot of them were gifts, because it's not something I usually buy for myself, but they're all little squishy treasures. Alright, so in this cabinet right here, this is all beauty supplies, and it's not just mine, of course. So, this is my jewelry box right here. It's got all my jewelry. This one on top is... what is this one? Some kind of bath and beauty product in this box. 
We've got a box that's like skin and perfume, so that's got like moisturizers in it. The box underneath that just says bath. So I think that's all like bath bombs or bubble bars or things like that. We don't have a ton of storage in the bathroom, like I mentioned, so any like bath feeling good stuff that's in there. And then of course a bunch of makeup brushes. These ones are mine. These ones are my wife's. You can see the little um, Yuri Saretsa, Yuri say, Yatsura, um, <laughs> uh, Lum, Henshin Tigers glass right there. Some of these are dirty and need to be cleaned. Uh, don't judge me, because, you know, we've all got a bunch of dirty makeup brushes that we need to clean, I think. These ones are ones that we share. Um, I actually have a funny story about this. So, this, um, cup that I keep my makeup brushes in, this was originally, like, my favorite teacup of all time. When I was, like, 15 or 16, my sister, um, came home for Christmas from Newfoundland, and her gift to me was this beautiful bone china cup and also a three-tiered cake stand. And, uh, I loved using this cup more than anything. It has a fantastic hand feel because it's bone china. The, it's very thin, actually, and light. And it feels fantastic to drink tea out of. Well, I was living with my parents at the time because I was quite young. And... Um, my dad used to always take this one and use it for his tea or coffee. And it used to drive me absolutely batty because I'm very particular. You know, I like, I have my favorite cups and I like to use them. And of course, the apple did not fall far from the tree. My dad is exactly the same way. And at one point I confronted him because every time I wanted to use my favorite mug, it wasn't there. And I was like, why are you using that's my mug? And he's like, well, it has really great hand feel, and it's beautiful bone china, and it's my favorite mug. And I was like, I know that. It's my mug. There's a reason it's here, because it has fantastic hand feel and all that. Well, unfortunately, one day, because we were both using it so much, uh, it got a crack right down the side. It split. I don't know if you can see it too well, but yeah, it cannot be used as a, a mug anymore, unfortunately, with like boiling hot beverages in it. But I couldn't part with it. I love it too much. It's beautiful. And it means something special to me because my sister gave it to me. So ever since then, I've used that as my brush holder. It had a very long life and it's very well loved and uh, it's very familial to me in that way because, like I said, my sister gave it to me and my dad tried to steal it from me. <laughs> so it makes me happy to see that. And then, let's see, we've got, this is all eyelashes, this is all false eyelashes that I, you know, buy from various places. Some are from winners, some are from um, Black Magic. Uh, they have like really great lashes. Um, these are just cotton balls. We've got um, aloe vera gel because I burn really easy when I go out in the sun. And these are all makeup bags. This one's my wife's. This is all my skincare and this one here. This is my makeup bag and this is my secondary makeup bag. Underneath here, there's also like a couple of palettes that I don't use that much. And then this little container is a couple of different lotions. And these are our perfumes. Mine is um, Di Diptyque's. We both use Diptyque brand perfume. Mine is the Eau de la Fint, which is like a lavender and um, clove scented one. And then hers is the Tam Dao. And I love how it smells, but I couldn't tell you what's in it other than it just smells great. Um, so those are like our signature scents. And then just, yeah, deodorant, um, creams, all that kind of stuff. Just in a little tray I got at the dollar store, actually. You'd be surprised. You can find so much stuff. 
once you're kind of getting in the organization plan, like the dollar store or Target or places like that, winners, you can find home goods. Oh my gosh, I miss it. So much good organization stuff, but of course, it doesn't help anybody to organize stuff if you don't actually have a plan or the will to organize. That's the part I'm trying to work on. The will to organize. Uh, parts of my life are organized and parts aren't. So that's what's in here. Underneath, uh, this is all notebooks, more stationary. Just notebooks and notebooks. I don't know how, but I tend to just gather notebooks. And there's other stationery in here too. These are just brown envelopes. Just all kinds of stuff like that. Lots of spiral bound notebooks and stuff too. I don't buy these ones. I never buy notebooks, but somehow I tend to just collect them in my life. So they all go in this drawer. And then uh, to my right, but I guess, is it your left? I don't know. Well, either way, I have my, you can kind of see right here, it's a, our enamel pin collection. I also have my little um, Lapras keychain and a gym base on there as well. And then I have my Liz Lisa um, purse charm, which I only put on my purse when I'm like going out somewhere like kind of fancy because I'm a little bit worried about it getting damaged. I don't know. Maybe I should just use it all the time anyway, but I don't for some reason. And then on the top there, um, there's kind of like this mail thing that I picked up. And I use that whenever I'm packaging up orders from my store um, with like my original pieces and you know, my um, embroidered patches and all that kind of stuff um, that I sell on albmwonderland.com. I package it all up and I mail it all out myself. I'm a one-man show over here. And whenever I'm done packaging stuff up, I put it in those slots. And then you can kind of see there's a tote bag in there. I take it out of the slots, I put it in the tote bag, and I take it to the post office and mail it. So I usually end up packaging all of that stuff at my desk over there. And then this way I have this little kind of slot holder thing the wall that I can just, it's very easy for me this way. It's taken me a while, but I've figured out a way to make the assembly line part a little bit easier for me, make a formula that works. And then, I don't know if you can really see it, but up there I have another piece by Zambi, and uh, she's just a fantastic artist, so I love that piece so much. So yeah, that's our office, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the bits and bobs of it. Um, I do the very best I can with this space. You know, I hang wallpaper, fake wallpaper up on the wall and backdrops, fabric backdrops up on top of stuff. I try to use this space to the best of my abilities as well as I can. Sorry, Dawn's distracting me. And I think that there's a lot that you can do with small spaces. My dream is that one day I'll have a nice big studio that is soundproofed. That would be really cool. But for now, you know, this is what I've got and I make the best I can with it and I make it as cute as I can because I spend so much time in here every day and I want to feel as happy and joyful as I can. So I try to surround myself with little treasures and objects that make me feel so happy to look at. And it's just, you know, this is one of my favorite places and I try to make it as nice as I can. I hope it was interesting to you guys. And I really, like I said in the beginning of the video, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your patience with this. I knew I had a plan. I wanted to do it a certain way in terms of filming it during the day. And sometimes that takes time. But the circumstances are such right now that I was able to do that. So. Thank you all so much for watching, my darlings. I love you, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.